Hey guys, so I'm uh, editing the video uh, part uh, number 30 and uh, before I want I show you this video I just like to say that um, mm. if you've watched uh, part 29 where I talk where I trim the, the, the turf side I thought it would be a good idea to uh, cut a, a, a chamfer on the, the edge of the the tur site uh, but uh, it wasn't a good idea at all um, you know that that would invite the chips to move underneath the tur site uh, and we don't want that we want the tur site to be cut straight so that it pushes um, the, the, the the chips uh, also the that little bubble that uh, was left uh, I cut it off so um, that's it. it's just a, a quick update so uh, back to uh, the the main uh, <laughs> video so the fun begins um, this is the kind of stuff I, I was uh, waiting for um, we're going to uh, adjust the uh, central I, I call them lateral gibbs but I think they're called central saddle gibbs or something they're right here and they um, they align the saddle this way um, and I have this uh, this uh, PDF here from uh, the Fadal uh, website fadalcnc.com uh, website um that shows how to um, adjust uh, the gibbs and um so i installed um an indicator uh, attached to the saddle and it's uh, touching the this uh, side of uh, the the central uh, rail um and i pulled the table uh, the, the the saddle sorry this way um so that the, this uh, contact area uh, there is um in contact pushed all the way and to uh, move the, the the saddle i use this uh, little pry bar um on um between the the casting and uh, the, the 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 gib straps here so um, I just like pull as far as I can and then the, the I zero the dial indicator and if I go on the other side and do the same thing the saddle will move this way and uh, the indicator will, will move for uh, of about uh, five thou I think this way and then I'll adjust, uh, I'll show you how to adjust uh, the, the, the gibbs. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do this, uh, this uh, is uh, fun stuff. Okay, so just to show, I'm going to pry here and I'm going to zoom on the indicator. So as you can see, <clears throat> it's uh, pretty much on uh, on zero. Um, I'm gonna get closer just to make sure. Okay, it's a bit. Uh, it's a bit off. Uh, Okay, now I'm prying and it's dead on zero. Now let's go on the other side. And I'm going to pry. This is as far as it goes.
And now, it's always a bit of a challenge to uh, work and film at the same time. Come on. Okay, and to, um, to tighten uh, a gib, you actually unscrew it. So uh, now we should see the dial indicator start to uh, to creep up slowly. Yep. So now we're tightening the the, the gib. We have a pretty long way to go. There was about ten thou of uh, of adjustment. Okay, we're getting much closer now. What I want is about uh, a bit less than half a tau. So this normally would be perfect. Now I'm going to confirm by pulling the saddle to the zero mark. doesn't quite go all the way. I think I might be a bit tight. Maybe a little tight. Try this. The table should move. The saddle should move. I say. I mean. Okay. Back in business. Listening. Come on. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now we have a thou of uh, still to go. I'm going to pull the table, the, the saddle, I mean. So you see, uh, we went a bit past uh, zero, like about uh, nearly half a tau below zero. And and about. Half a thou over. Okay. So now I should be able to move the saddle of about uh, half a thou. So uh, I'm a quarter of a thou below now, below zero. And about uh, a bit more than a thou over. I'll tighten this a little more. Okay.
pretty much zero here. Okay, I've got about uh, a thou and a half of uh, of movement now. Yeah. So now what uh, we're gonna do is go on the other side of uh, of the saddle and do exactly the same thing. Um, get it to about uh, a thou. Uh, and a half so then we can uh, creep in on uh, on both sides at the same time one thou I got one thou of movement right now <sighs> yeah okay so uh, let's do this let's go on the other side Okay, that's pretty good. Zoom in. Well, that's pretty much uh, zero. Now let's see what kind of uh, of uh, movement we have uh, on this side. Okay. Now um, I should uh, pull it all the way this uh, this way, the saddle this way, and have it on zero, which is pretty much the case. It's pretty much zero now. Ratchet. Here we go. So we'll try to uh, do the same thing, get about one thou of, uh, of play, and then do the final adjustments. While I'm putting pressure, I get uh about uh, a quarter of a tau uh over zero and now about uh three quarter of a tau below zero so it's pretty much uh, one tau of movement so i'll uh, Tighten this a little more. What we want is about five tenths. According to uh, to the document. <laughs> And this is pretty much five tenth. Okay. 
Oh yeah, perfect. So uh, I'll move back to the, the other side of the saddle uh, one last time and uh, try to uh, get it as good as uh, this side and uh, we'll call it a day. Okay, so we're back uh, on the back of the saddle. I'll now try to, adju to uh, adjust it to a zero. Yeah, pretty good. Um, I should have pulled the saddle towards me before adjusting it to zero. Okay, that's good. So, zero. And now over here. That's uh, nearly two thousand. Half a thou. Let's see if I can bring it back to zero, just to confirm. Yeah, pretty much. Half a thou. Perfect. Now I'm curious to see if I can still move it by hand. I'll zoom you out. So uh, let's see if I can still move it. I'm <laughs> a bit doubtful, but we'll see. I could before. Oh yeah. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Very happy. Good stuff. Okay, just uh, so that uh, it's really clear, um, the place where I put my pry bar is right here. I try not to go too far up because then I would push on the, there's a, a, a gib here and another adjustable gib there. And I want to pry on the steel block, not, the, uh, the gib. So uh, this is where I would put my pry bar if I'm adjusting the back of the saddle and at the other end when I'm adjusting the front. Just like that. Well, that was fun, right? Finally got to uh, put some precision into this uh, this machine. Very happy. Um, next, uh, I wanted to have the saddle uh, centered this way because the next thing I'm going to install um, is the Y-axis uh, lead screw. So um, that's the next uh, next project. But uh, that went really well. Super happy. So thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.